Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Holmes here. It's time for Foundations. Today we're doing Unit 4, Week 2, Day 2. We're going to begin with a, a review of some different kinds of uh, vowel sounds. We're going to start off with uh, short vowel sounds. So here we go. Echo me. A apple a. E ed e. I itch is. U up. A, uh, O octopus off, E ed, I'm sorry, E me E, E E G P E, E Y K E, O no O, O A boat O, A acorn A, A I bait A, A Y play A, E A eat E. E R B her er, I R bird er, A R car R, O R horn or, U R burn er. All right, now let's begin. Today we're going to be working on uh, endings again, suffixes. That's what we put on the ends of words, and we're particularly going to be focusing on the two sounds, two of the sounds of the suffix ed. Now ed, sometimes it can make the sound of t, and sometimes it can make the sound of d. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. All right, here's the first word. Uh, and we're going to do the, the root word first. So here we go. Echo me. Check. I put a check mark beside the problem that was not correct. Check. Elbows up. Check. 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 Well, let's write the word check. How does it start? That's right. Check. Eh. That would be E. K. Well, it's at the end of a one-syllable word with a short vowel sound, so it's going to be spelled, spelled with a CK. Check. Okay, that's a digraph, so we underline it. Short vowel, another digraph, one-syllable word, short vowel sound, ends with a one-consonant sound, and the word is what? It is closed. Now, we're going to add the suffix ed to it. We're going to circle it. Now, echo me. Checked. I checked the papers. Which sound of ED does it make? Checked. That's right. It makes the sound of T. So you're going to put a T right there. Now, since we put a suffix on the end of the word, we have to underline the root word. Show me your work. Okay, erase. Teachers, if any time you need to pause the video, that is perfectly okay. All right, next word. And once again, we're going to spell a, a, a root word first, a base word first, and then we will add the ending ed to it to see which sound it's making. Okay, here we go. Echo me. Spell. I spell the words. Spell. Elbows up. Spell. 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 Write the word spell. I learned how to spell a new word. S P. E. Yeah, that would be E. O. Huh. And buy one, get one free. So put a star over that. It has a short vowel. We, yes, that's true. We have a blend right there. One syllable word. Short vowel sound. Ends with a single consonant sound. So it is what class? Closed. So we'll put our C underneath. And now we're going to add the suffix ED. E 
Now, let's tap out spelled. Here we go. Ready? Elbows up. Spelled. 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 Now, which sound does the ED make? Spelled. That's right. It makes ED. And now we have to underline our base word, our root word, right there. And your word should look like this. Show your teacher your work. Good job. You ready? Okay, here's the next word. Echo me. Dusted. Dusted. Okay, we're going to do dust. Ready? Dust. 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 One syllable word. Short vowel sound. Has a consonant blend. So it is what kind of word? Closed. Now we're going to add the ed on the end. Okay, now let's tap it out. Dusted. Ready? Elbows up. Dusted. Dusted. Oh, Mrs. Holmes tricked you on this one. It's not T or D. It's the sound of ID. Dusted. Id. So you're going to have to write the ID. Id. It's not D. It's not T. It's Id. All right, good job. Um, next word. Echo me. Camp. Elbows up. Camp. C amp. Camp. Camp. I like to camp in the summer. Camp. Starts with a C. Letter C. Am. No, A-M is a glued sound. Okay, so let's mark our glued sound, short vowel sound. It's a one syllable word, short vowel sound that's glued, ends with one consonant, so the word is what? Closed. Now, we're going to add an ED. Now, echo me. Camped. Camped. I camped out over the weekend. What sound does the ED make? That's right. It makes the sound of T. Camped. And since we have a suffix on the end of this word, we have to draw a line under it to show that this is the base word. All right. Good job. Erase. Okay, let's do some trick words now. Okay, here's our first trick word. Echo me. Use. I like to use a sharpened pencil to write. Use. Apples up. Use. Y. Use. Use. Alright, now use is tricky because it sounds like it starts with a Y, but it doesn't. It starts with a U. U. S. E. U S E. Use. Now, it sounds like it has what? A Y. And then it sounds like it has what? Ooh. And listen to the last sound. Yeah. Ooh. What sound is that? The Z. That's right. And is the E silent? Yes, it is. Use. Okay, let's trace to erase. U S E. Well, we probably ought to do the next word on the other side. Okay, write the word use three times. U S E U S E U S E. Use. Okay, good job. Erase. 
All right, here's our next trick word. Echo me. Please. Please help me today. Please. Elbows up. Please. P -o -e -z. Please. How many sounds? Ooh, four sounds. Okay. Please. P -o -p -l. And here's where it gets tricky. It's E A. It's not just E, it's E A. Plea. They is silent. And then it sounds like a Z, but it's not. It's S E. Please. All right. Now, let's mark it. The P and the L are both the same. P O. And the E, actually it's the E-A, makes the sound of E, long E, but then the S makes what sound? That's right, it makes a Z. Please, p pull ease, please, oh, I'm, I, this is a blend, please, but it's spelled this way. Let's trace to erase. Ready? Please. P L E A S E. Please. Now let's write it three times. Please. P L E A S E. Go ahead and write it two more times. And show you show your teacher. And that's all for today. I'll see you next time.